Raleigh is known for having spots that easily flood. That includes along Crabtree Creek. Last year, Raleigh installed cameras to help alert first responders to the water on the roads. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco joins us now. And Mackenzie, you asked city leaders if the lights are helping. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, we are live here just at the bottom of the lake where the river starts. And typically this area is reduced ahead of a potential storm that flows into the river. We've reached out to the city of Raleigh, which is monitoring some of those areas through cameras that were installed last year. And so far, I'm told they've been a huge help. Dome cameras like these are perched above the city's most notorious areas for flooding. And these are along Crabtree and Walnut Creeks, our two major watersheds here in Raleigh. The city installed eight of them last year. One is at the corner of Atlantic and Hodges. We've heard that it floods real bad right here and uh, basically just to be very careful. The system is real time, designed to alert the city and first responders to rising water. Do the cameras actually make a difference in helping the public? They do to the extent that they provide additional information as early as possible about flooding and then our public safety responders can get out to, to actually close roadways and keep cars and people away from those flood, flooding areas. Without the cameras, Bryant tells me the city wouldn't have known about this area of Crabtree that flooded last August. This was actually off of the Crabtree Creek main run, so it was a little more localized flooding that would not have been monitored. The cameras cost about $5,000 a piece. Bryant tells me the city expects to add eight more by the end of next year. Is it worth the investment? We think that it is. Certainly every tool that we can provide to help advance public safety is a very worthwhile tool. Now in the meantime, Bryant says city crews are in the process of clearing debris from those creeks. Live at Falls Lake, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.